Shalom, family, shalom, shalom. Hey, in this season, <laughs> I'm just giving some encouragement for this season, <clears throat> in this wicked season. You know, don't let the world, don't let people make you believe that you're missing out. You're not missing out. You're actually standing out. You know, you're not living a lie. And once you're not living the lies, then you're going to stand out. So you're not missing out on, on anything. You're actually standing out. You know, this world, world lies in darkness. And because you are walking in the light, you know, people, th those who are in darkness, think, want, want, want to make you feel as if you're missing out, but you're not. You're actually standing out. You're missing out on darkness, but you're standing in the light. You know, this world loves darkness, people. This world, and it's not easy to live live um, truth in this world. It's truly not, you know, because <clears throat> when you live by truth, you know, you're not going to have much friends. You know, you're not going to have much company. You know, people are not going to like you. People don't like you. People hate truth. And all those who are living by the truth, you know, will be hated too. The reality is that they don't really hate you. They don't really hate you because if you were to start living that lie or uh, walk in darkness same way, they would love you. You know, they would be drawn to you, you know, because you agree with them. But because you're living the truth, you're walking in the truth, they hate you. But the reality is that they hate the truth that you are following. So in all reality, <coughs> Is that they actually hate truth so don't let them <clears throat> don't let them feel don't make them make you feel as if you're missing out on something you're actually standing out so in this season when everyone is you know having their Tamu's tree you know in their house you know following the ways of this world trying to be a friend of this world trying to be accepted in this world trying to be like everybody else you know trying to be accepted you know everywhere they go want everyone to feel okay with them because you know they're following everyone else you just keep standing out because you're living for Yah you're living to please Yah and not man you know in the end of the day man cannot save you man can do nothing to save you man in themselves need a savior man needs saving himself you know so I'm just here just giving you to some words of encouragement to be strong. This is the time of the year where your faith will be tested. Your faith, people will come against the true faith in the Lord. And people will show where their true faith lies as well. This is a time of revealing of those who are seeking to live by the truth. And those who want to continue to live in the lies. You know, right through the ear, everyone has been cursing Satan. Right through the ear, the entire church has been rebuking Satan. <laughs> Every, the entire ear, everyone has, um, out there, all, especially, especially, especially the church, have been cursing Satan to his face, right? But now this is the time of the year where, they, where they're going to worship him. This is the time of the year where Saturn will be worship you know I'm, I was on my TikTok and I did a video on my TikTok about you know the same thing I'm saying here and there's a lady that, that that's trying to convince me that it's not not there's nothing wrong with following the trend of this season you know and I was like you people are so determined it is so funny how people are so determined very determined to defend the devil but they're not determined to defend the most high that way people are very determined to defend lies than to defend truth this is the world that we live in you know people will find a way to let lies and and sin and immorality and unrighteousness they will find ways to make it look okay this is the reason why i'm, I'm done with christianity this is the reason why I, 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 I'm, I'm fully done with mainstream Christianity. I'm, I'm, I'm done with churchianity. I'm done with all of that. Because Christianity 
teach unlawfulness. Christianity does not love God. They hate God and they love the things of the devil. Christianity will rather find ways and means and doctrines to defend unrighteous acts, to defend ungodliness, to defend paganistic things. They will try to find ways to make it look, look okay. But when we're talking about righteousness and godliness and, you know, you know, obedience and, you know, all those type of stuff, you know, the word of God, they fight, they, they call people like those judgmental. Have you guys ever realized that? That they call people who are following the most high judgmental and call those who are compromising God good people. You know, they're okay if you're a compromiser. But if you're not compromising him, then they have a problem with you. They have a problem with you. They're going to find all type of names to give you. They're going to even call you religious. Even re they're going to even call you religious. Because guess why? You are standing out. So don't believe that you are missing out, my people. You're not missing out. You're actually standing out. Keep standing out. Keep being holy. Keep being set apart from this world. This world has nothing to offer you. We're not seeking to be friends of this world and become an enemy to the Most High. We're seeking to become a friend of the Most High and an enemy in this world. In this world, we'll always have trouble because we're not of this world. If we're of this world, this world will, would receive us. But because we're not of this world, this world hates us. But just know that the love of God is in you. The love of God is with you. The word of God says those who fear God will hate evil. Anything I find, anything I find that, that is evil in this world, I won't love it up. I won't love it up. Not at all. So be encouraged in this season, brothers and sisters. Be strong in the faith and in the power of his might. Keep putting on the full armor of God and just keep walking. When everyone is around, um, walking in darkness you keep walking in that light and by you allowing that light to shine or walking in that light and letting that light shine you know in a matter of time many of these people who are in darkness will take their time or at least a few of them will take their time and turn to the light so keep standing out and just know that you're not missing out for all those who are new here continue to share this video out i want to take time to Shout out Taza Mac, my brother, who I will be doing a live stream with um, this um, Saturday coming. Um, guys, so guys, tune out for that one. I want to take this time to also shout out Sister Tash, uh, Sister Tasha. I want to shout out um, Veronica Salas. I want to shout out Ruth Robinson. Um, who else? <laughs> Um, brother Stevie, Stevie in the work. Um, all those who have been supporting me, Woodrow, I believe, set apart to serve. You know, all these people who have been a great support to me. Most I bless you all and keep you all continually. And until the next video, shalom, peace, grace, and mercy from God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yahushua Amashiach, Yahawashai, Yashaya. Whatever name you choose to call the Messiah, our great high priest in the order of Melchizedek and the soon coming king.